girl Queen Paris, and I'm back with another freaking video. You dig what I'm saying? So in today's video, I'll be doing a story time on when my ex-boyfriend, he took my money. He stole my money, y'all. And I was, I was mad as I was ready to fight. Like, nigga, don't take my money. That's my money. Before y'all watch this video, I'm going to need for y'all to give this video a thumbs up right now. Give this video a thumbs up right now and subscribe to my channel. If you're watching this video and you ain't subscribed to my channel, what are you doing? Because you're watching my video. Why not subscribe? That's petty as fuck. That's petty that you're not, you're not subscribed but you're watching me. Subscribe to my channel. Matter of fact, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait till you subscribe. I'm gonna just wait. All right, bet. Thank you. <laughs> Let's just jump right into the video. It's gonna be juicy. You feel what I'm saying? It's gonna be juicy. So let's just get right into the video because I don't wanna waste no time and I'm supposed to be going to work right after this. So let's just get right into the video. So as y'all know, I did confirm in my very first my very first YouTube video that I'm a dancer, an exotic dancer. And at that time, I was um, dancing and I was making money. I was actually, me and him had moved to LA together. We moved to LA together. And um, I was a dancer. I was making my coins. And basically, he... He really didn't have like a job at the time. He was um, in the process of like growing um, marijuana in LA. So that was in growing marijuana. If y'all didn't know, if y'all don't know, it takes months and it takes a long ass time like for that shit to grow and to sell and to do whatever, like to make some money, make a profit. So, in the midst of that, you know, I'm a ride or die. Like, I ride for my nigga. You know, if he got something going on, I'm going to support it. He support me doing what I do. And, you know, we was doing what we was doing. But it came to a point in our relationship where um, we was just like, I, I kind of got, it was taking too long, basically. It was taking too long, and he wasn't, I feel like he was he wasn't trying hard enough to um just get shit up and running. Like I just feel like as a man and in a relationship as a man you're you're supposed to provide no questions asked. You're supposed to provide for your for your shawty. And then not to mention, y'all, he had a baby mama and he had two kids. He had three kids. Two of them I knew about. One of them came came about um, we got to arguing with his baby mama one time and she mentioned that he had a third child so it was just it was just lies and just not enough for me you know it wasn't enough I feel like I was dancing I was making all this money and I felt like I was taking care of a grown man which was cool and like it, it's cool to ride for your nigga and be there for him when he's trying to start something fresh start something new from his for himself and you know just you know be there for him but at the end of the day it comes to a point where you just gotta be like okay i got this going on i'm sorry as a man i got this going on let me do something else right now so i can make some so i can keep some money coming in you don't just work on one thing and don't work on something else. That's just how I am. I'm a hustler. Like, I get money from every aspect. I'm a dancer. Um, I'm an artist. I make money from that. Um, I make money from modeling, promotion. On, like, it's just stuff. Like, it's money. You can make money from any direction. Not just one thing. Anything. Okay? So, I just feel like he was just only focusing on that weed shit. And I'm just like, that's cool. But what else? what else i don't want to you can't just <laughs> what else so like i said it got to a point in our relationship where i was just like um i can't do this no more i was always like depressed and i was always crying just like just <sighs> paying for his food buying him shoes buying him clothes paying all the bills 
And I was only, I think I was um, 22. I think I was 22 at the time. And I just felt like enough is enough. This whole relationship, I just felt like, I felt like it was just me doing. I'm doing everything. I had the car, I had the money. And, and I, I, did, I felt like he had potential to be something, you know? He had potential to be something. And then, oh, and another thing with the kids. I was sending his baby mother, I was sending his kids money for their birthdays to buy them school supplies and doing all this. And so just imagine all the frustration that I was going through. I had a man that wasn't like helping me out providing. I was taking care of his kids, baby mama drama. Um, I'm trying to take care of myself and build myself up too at the same time. So it's just like, I can't do it all. <laughs> I couldn't do it all at that time. I couldn't do it all. So it, like I said, it came to a point where I tried to express it to him and I tried to tell him like, you got to do something else. You have to, I need, to, you need to like bring some money in and you know, like it need to be 50, it need to be a hundred percent each ways. Like each ways, I need a hundred percent each ways. And he wasn't like really hearing it. He he was just like, um, I'm, I got this going on. I'm really focusing on this. This is what I want to do. Do that. But I'm about to go. So I, I didn't tell him, but um, I did it like on the low behind his back. I got a plane ticket to back to Atlanta. Mind you, we stayed in Atlanta together. Then we moved to LA, and I left him in, in LA, and I moved to um, moved back to Atlanta. So I got my ticket. I moved back to Atlanta. Um, when it was time for me to leave, he saw me packing my stuff up and like getting ready to go. The reason this how he took my money though. My card, my bank card, and stuff was hooked up to his phone. I don't remember how I it got. I don't remember how my stuff ended up getting hooked up, hooked up to his phone, but it was hooked up to his phone. So I end up. I, I went to the bank and I put five hundred dollars in my bank account so I can get my ticket and just you know so I can have like little money on my card, you know, after at like afterwards, like if I want to get food and stuff like that. So I end up doing that right before I got my ticket. So my ticket was like only like two some it was like two some and i had like three hundred dollars left on my card so like <laughs> man this shit pissed me off so bad y'all it pissed me off so bad like y'all don't understand so i got my ticket and that and the day that i was supposed to leave he saw me packing up my stuff and i was finna get ready to head out like i had called my uber and everything no, it was before I called my Uber. He saw me packing up my stuff. And I sat in the living room for a while. My, I had got a notification on my phone that said um, that I had, I cashed out some money to somebody. So I went on the cash app thing and I saw where the money was sent to. It was sent to his baby mama name. I forgot his baby mama name, but it was sent to his baby mama name. Girl, y'all, I went to him and I said, why would you send my money to your baby mama? He had no money. He had none. All he had to do, like, if you want, like, I, I still would have gave a nigga, like, a couple extra hundred dollars, like, you know, because I did leave him out there. I'm not the type of person anyway. Like, I, I'm not, no, I'm not just going to leave you stranded or, you know, home. I'm not going to do that. I'm a, like, if, you, if he would have asked, I probably would have gave it to him. No cap, I probably would have gave it to him. Not because, like, knowing that he didn't have anything, I probably would have gave it to him. But the fact this nigga sent my money to his baby mama from my card. When I tell y'all, I when I tell y'all, I beat this nigga ass. Like I was wishing him, punching him in his face. Like, who are you to take my money? And his response was, um, this my money too. And like, I helped you get into this club, blah, blah, blah. Big, nigga, first of all, you didn't help me. I got myself into that club. I, I go to that club and I shake my behind 
for that money. You don't go in there and check your behind for that money. I do. So that's my money. I don't know what type of, I don't know what he had in his head to think that that was both of our money, but it wasn't. It wasn't, it, it wasn't, it wasn't his money. It was my money. And I was just trying to tell him that, and he was not understanding it. He wasn't. I'm just like, how you don't understand? This is not your money, nigga. I went to the club. I danced for this money. This is my shit. Don't like, and he would not send me the money back, y'all. The money was gone. The money was sent to his baby mama. Gone. Y'all, when I tell y'all, <laughs> that was the, I left and I never like was funny. He always like DM me. He be calling me and texting me. Like, you know, saying he missed me shit. No, ever, never, never. And never again will I ever date him again, ever. That pissed me off, y'all. And like, word of advice to like all the young ladies that's out there, they probably going through, you know, something like that. Or just like a shitty nigga anyway. Like, if the nigga ain't, if the dude ain't like 100%, don't and that make sure when you get into a relationship that it's a hundred percent both ways i feel like it has to be a hundred percent for any relationship to work any relationship to work out. especially if you 20 21 and 22 you still young anyway you don't even have all your shit together so make sure you not taking care of no man you if he got a baby mama you ain't taking care of his baby mama his kids just don't do it, y'all. Don't do it. And don't even rush to, rush to like move in with a nigga. Don't. This shit, I'm telling you, is not gonna work. You're not even, you're gonna be sad, depressed. You're gonna wanna leave. You're gonna wish you never would have met him. Like, you're gonna probably hate his fucking guts. Cause I, I can't even see myself. Like, he hits me up all the time asking, like, you know, like, you, you are my everything like i loved you like i can't see myself without you like just hurt nigga you stole from me <laughs> i can't trust you i can't trust you with my life i can't trust like he but he was he was the best besides all of that he was the best best boyfriend y'all he was the best like i wish he would not never like, i wish he wouldn't have done that to me because I would have married him type of shit. Like, <laughs> I would have married him. Like, if he would have asked me, yes. Yes. But he just, he did that, y'all. And that shit turned me completely off. It made me look at him so different. So different. Like, I would never go back to him. And it's so crazy. I used to be so in love with him. He used to treat me so good so good when i was sick he was there like, run me bath water like run my bath water after work and you know take me a bath rub my feet he made like he he used to wake up every morning and like like go get groceries and stuff and 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 we used to eat like it was just so good like he was just so good to me so good to me I cannot believe that man stole my money. And it was only $300, but I'm just like, why would you, like, why would you take my money? He was not hearing that shit. That, that was our money in his eyes. That was our money. Bitch, man, I hit up one of my friends from Atlanta, and I was just like, sis, I just got me a plane ticket to Atlanta. I'm about to leave this nigga in, a, in L.A., I need to stay at your place for a couple months and until I give me a place because no <laughs> don't steal from me i was already gonna leave anyway but it still could me and him still could have worked out but he just had to take my shit like he just had to steal from me had to <sighs> moral of the fucking story is sis don't take care of no man don't take care of no man don't take care of his children don't deal with baby mama drama ever you you beautiful queens i'm gonna start calling y'all queens and kings all y'all queens and kings the females are queens and my men are kings if you're watching this king and queen you are 
Do not settle for shitty people. Even male, like even you men, like it's girls that hear this, like using niggas for money. Don't let no bitch, don't let no female use y'all either. Like, don't don't do that. Like you, it, it's plenty of women out here, like myself, that works hard for their own money and just don't like, don't ask for shit. Like, you don't need no girl using for your money, and you don't need no man. You don't need to be taking care of no man at the end of the day. It need to be a hundred percent both ways, a hundred, not fifty fifty, but a hundred percent. You have to be whole and you have to be one for the relationship to work out. If you're not ready, if you're not whole, if you're not a hundred, don't, don't, don't. Like Bryson Tiller, don't, don't, don't. I learned my lesson from that, and I don't. I ain't taking care of no nigga. Period, sis. Don't take care of no nigga. I, Queen Paris told y'all that. Keep that in y'all head. Don't take care of no nigga. I promise you. You're, you're going to thank me later. Alright, so y'all. Thank y'all for watching this video. Um, give this video a thumbs up. Drop a comment below if y'all like this video. And if y'all want to see more story times. Because I have hella stories. Hella <laughs> stories. Okay? I got hella stories. Um, yeah, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all in my next video.